how it works. BB machine gun. How does a BB machine gun work? Hello there, welcome to the Steven School Alchemy YouTube channel. So I've got a couple of Lark M19A model BB guns here from the 80s. Used to be able to order these out of magazines in the 80s and they were advertised as firing 3,000 BBs a minute. There's been varying reports on how powerful they are, and I think that might be because they came with two different barrels, one shorter and one longer. Some of the advertisements come, uh, posted 450 feet per second, which is pretty good. Here's a diagram schematic on the inside. I'm going to take these apart so we can see what's in there and how they work. Here's another diagram schematic. Here's uh, some information. Came with the long barrel model, this one. This one, someone modified it to run off of an air compressor, as you can see. I did not intend to use or fire these BB guns. I'm going to take them apart to make this video. You might consider that demilitarization of them because they're not going to be put back together or reassembled. This is the BB Reservoir. It's got a cap on the back that unscrews. That was for filling the BBs. It's removable. This one, someone has replaced the cap. They must have lost it. As a matter of fact, I think this, this black one might be original, I'm not sure. The metal one is not. Now this one, it has a plastic covering over the barrel. It snaps together and it's glued in place. I can easily remove it. It's just a plastic covering. So there's the barrel. It's just a, like a thin liner of a barrel. This one's got a longer barrel. I'm going to open these up. These are extra parts that came with one of them. Because the original model used a one pound can of Freon um, automotive refrigerant and connected here and someone took those pieces off and replaced it with an air compressor fitting. So these are the pieces we're attaching the original air, which is obsolete. And now we're going to open this up. Open up both of them, taking everything apart. They're not going to be reassembled. This one that I'm working on, the person that I got it from stated that it no longer works. Not in working condition. This one, I was told it does work. I have not tested it. So I don't know if it does or not. However, after I take it apart, it's definitely not going to work. But we'll get a chance to see what's in here. get an idea of what's inside these things. Pretty simple designs. They're lightweight. The outside is plastic. Held together with screws.
more screws on this side. I believe the hand grip trigger housing pulls out after the screws are removed. Interesting. It's trying to come apart. So the barrel has come off, the barrel outside covering on this one, which is this plastic, revealing the barrel sleeve. Okay, so now I've got this piece out. The original air fed in here and came through here, connecting to an air valve that is here. So it's a dual tube system. The air feeds in this tube and then released by the trigger goes into the reservoir and then pressurizes the BBs down the barrel. So let's see if we can take this apart a little bit more. Got the barrel, pulls out of there. And there's a piece here that unscrews. Where the air tube connected to the trigger by means of a spring. These side pieces pop out after the screws are removed and that should release the handle assembly to come out. Now the inside body, this is just a plastic body, just the housing, which is now an empty shell. There's actually a couple of BBs still in this thing. Okay. So how this BB machine gun works is this is the reservoir it holds the BBs. The trigger mounts here with a spring. So this air valve connects like so. This is such a simple design. So, here we have the reservoir that holds the BBs. They pour in from the back and fill this. The air pressure connects here to this air valve, which has a spring connecting it to the trigger. The trigger moves the long metal spring, opening and closing the air valve which then pressurizes the chamber and it blasts the BBs and the only place they have to go is down the barrel. So the two tubes 
separated by a trigger and the air valve. Air coming in here, trigger releasing it, pushing it in here, pressurizing the cylinder, blasting the BBs out the other barrel tube. Very simple design. These were cheaply made. They were m mostly available in the 80s. I've seen reports that said they might have actually come out in the 70s. Now I'm going to see about pulling, let's see if we can pull the double tube system out of the uh, BB reservoir. So we can see what that end looks like. Okay, we got it out. All right. So this is what it looked like inside the BB reservoir. Just two tubes, one allowing the air to pressurize the reservoir and the other providing an outlet for the BBs to exit down the barrel. Such a simple, simple design. I've seen videos of people shooting these and the ones that I saw didn't look very powerful, but of course they were the short barrel model. Air comes in here, pressurizing the cylinder and blasting the BBs down the barrel. Very simple. And there's also a metal ball bearing in here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the Stephen School Alchemy YouTube channel. And have a nice day.